A popular subject on this channel is the white floor and a lot of people want to do it in the garage but they're concerned about it being dirty, how hard is it to clean, do you destroy it working on cars, all those kinds of questions. Especially how is it holding up in the long haul? We talked about it six months ago, it was holding up pretty good. Any major spot we used some gasoline or some degreaser and everything came up with a little bit of elbow grease and you really didn't have any issues. We're 10 months in, started a custom car build welding lots of foot traffic in and out bondo fiberglass you name it we've kind of got everything on the floor thus far 10 months in and the floor is looking a little bit worse and today we're going to be testing a floor maintainer again we used to destroy the epoxy in the garage originally now we're using the same piece of equipment with a different pad on it to clean the floor and see what kind of results we get and if we can bring this white floor back to life before we get started let me show you kind of what the floor is looking like 10 months in after doing some custom projects and a lot of work in here lately. This is Randall's toolbox and he spends a lot of time at his computer and getting tools out and there's a lot of foot traffic right here. Some of this stuff is hard to show on camera but right here there's just this layer of dirt, debris, kind of just overall foot traffic and it kind of scratched it up enough to just make it look permanently dirty. I'm curious if we're gonna be able to get that up today. This right here is old fill gap filler from the person who previously lived at my house. So we just epoxied over that and I knew it was gonna chip up and it still does. So this isn't really the epoxy's fault. This is just some really old stuff that I epoxied over and did not prep. So this is failure to prep. I knew that going in, it's not the end of the world. When you look back, it does look kind of ugly, but we have so much traffic in here. It's not really a big deal. This is where a rubber mat was and you can just see how much brighter right there is. The whole floor just has this kind of permanent haze over it and it just looks a little bit darker. We want it to pop white again like it does over here. Let's go over to an equipment place down the street, pick up a floor maintainer and see what that process is like. Four hour rental and two pads, 61 bucks. If we don't use the second pad, we'll bring it back. It's always good to know where your local equipment rental place is big or small they got just about everything depending on your city and sometimes it can bring a DIY project you thought was impossible to life with a little bit of money yeah all right perfect Yeah. Just go on. Oh yeah. I just wanted to make sure it stuck to it. Yeah, you can. Step one, always cleaning out your space, getting it prepped, getting it ready. Then we're going to throw down a tape line so we can see any sort of drastic change so we know exactly how much this floor maintainer does for this floor. Only the best. I got some diamond bright degreaser. I'll be talking about superior image here more soon. Getting set up to do this properly, you gotta make sure you got some safety boots on, right? You guys were uh, stoked on mine last time we did this. So. When it's over 100 degrees in Arizona, you wear flip flops whenever you can. Round two, let's get it. I also have a ghetto bucket of water because I gave my two wash buckets to my buddy for some other work stuff. So we're gonna make do. We do the left or the right side? I was thinking the right looks a little worse. Yeah, let's go. Right. Maybe even just get the mop. Not make it like a crazy. Soapy water on here with the greaser. Too much 
much like a baby. Oh, oh yeah, look at that right there. That's dialed. Yeah, that's nice. Alright, how about you want to bad place? Randall needs every piece of equipment ever. It's bad. It's a toxic trait of mine. This is kind of the shade of before. This is after, just that one little hit. I'll finish this square. See how it comes together. That's definitely something to get excited about. This on the left side, it's just everywhere in the garage from 10 months of just working on it. The mop doesn't pull it off. It needs something rotating on it to really break through that little bit of barrier of dirt debris. We've welded in here, grinded the whole nine, made messes with oil, gas, transmission fluid, you name it. The only thing that's weird about this floor is right here, you see these like yellow tire marks. It's something when wet tires sit in here, whatever happens with the rubber, it just like seeps into wherever the tire contacts with the floor. I've gotten it up a couple times, but it is a pain. So this place is gonna look really good. It's gonna pop again. And then what's gonna happen probably is it's gonna look so bright in here again that it's gonna make the walls look dirty. So we're gonna have to figure out how to clean the walls. Randall's a little under the weather today. We had a lot of stuff going on today, but um, he tossed the idea of cleaning the floor out there. Randall, are you still in the mood to clean the floor? Getting there. My my legma stipulations have carried me over, so I'm sitting down right here, and that's, that's about how this afternoon has gone. Your ligma? Yeah. Ligma? Ligma. Is that what I think it is? It's L-I-G-M-A. It's a, it's a really bad upper respiratory infection. Oh, I thought you meant ligma ball. <laughs> Stains need to be addressed. Got some acetone. Oh, yeah. Is it working? Yeah. About half the garage is done. Here's what the pad looks like. Still has a ton of life left in it. It's not too dirty. Definitely will only use one of the pads in case you go do this yourself. In a garage that's, how big do you think this garage is? Basically with a little, 500 feet. yeah, 500 square feet. Got this square, that square left. And just pull this off, flip it over. Give her a fresh restart. <laughs> said and done that spot that was pretty bad just blends into the rest it all came out pretty even this is after the whole entire garage i think this thing actually had quite a bit of life left
excited that the floor looks bright white again. It's always looking good. Everyone likes the energy, kind of the feel of the garage, especially with the door closed, AC on in the summer. It's fun when people come over or we're working in here. You have like complete loss of time of day. When it's bright, you feel good. It is more work to clean, but we let it go for quite some time for the last couple months because we're working hard, making a lot of messes. And if you go rent a floor maintainer for $60, less actually because we only use one pad then you can get it back to looking like this the really only thing that looks bad is that crack that we talked about earlier if this was brand new concrete and i did this over again it would be even better than this every time we cleaned it so if you're thinking about doing a white garage i love it everyone loves it that comes in here it's more work but hey having the nicer things is sometimes more work as most of you know. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button so more people can see it. Check out karmaspeed.com if you want to support the channel. We have some awesome accessories, apparel, and stuff like that, and a new website coming out soon with resources for you as car people. I can't wait. Got a lot of stuff in store. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uploads on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays.